Now, once we reduce our field file, if I do a string inquire, you will notice that all the strings are in the one model, survey day one, and they're all given the same color. So this is when it's handy to use a map file. And if you remember, in our survey data reduction function, we had the option to use a map file. And what the map file does is takes the codes that you use out in the field and places them in the correct models with the correct color and line types. To create a map file from scratch, we simply go to File I.O. Map Files, Create slash Edit. Here we can fill out the map file. The header is basically just a diary of any changes that have happened in the map file. So you can simply just start typing. So there I've typed in the name of a survey company. And you might have the date that the map file was created. And you might have the surveyor's initials. And then any changes, you can have the date below and with the changes amended. Once you're happy with that, we can now fill out the basic tab. And the basic tab takes whatever codes we've used in the field and puts them in the model that we wish. So the easiest way to see what codes you've used in the field is to simply open the report file up that we did when we reduced our field file. And if I scroll down, we can see our codes here. So for the first one, we might have NS, which is natural surface, you'd simply just go into the map file and the key is the code you use out in the field. So you would type in NS. You could give it a string name if you'd wanted to. You could pick it from the list of the existing names or you could simply just type another name in. And then we could also select the model we want it to go into. So in this model, you might want to call it NS. So you might want it to go into the model that it's coded or you might put in a model called topography And then the color. So what color do you want the string to be? You might make it green. And is it a point or line? Because it's NS, it was a point string. So I'm gonna make it a point. And then the line style. Again, you just left and right click and choose the line style you want. I'm gonna give it a line style of one, which is 12D's default line style value. It's just a continuous line. You had the option to give it a weight and weight is just a thickness. I'm going to ignore that. And then you can simply just type a comment in. So I'm going to type in natural surface. Once you've filled out all your codes in the basic tab, you can do other things with the map file too. You can give a solid fill to a certain code. Just be aware that it uses the name. So it would use whatever name you gave the string here. You can give symbols to certain strings and vertices. You can make certain codes tinnable and non-tinnable. You can apply text to vertices and segments of lines. You can give certain strings a pipe diameter. Once you're happy with this map file and you want to save it, you just simply type a name in. And then just write it out. And then this will save this map file. 